can you go from coast to coast in 50 hours? On this episode, I become friends with a bee. Hmm. Nathan becomes friends with a fuel pump. And now you've broken the machine. And we both become friends with Florida's finest. These days, you just don't do that anymore, you know? It's the Iron Butt Association's 50cc Quest. And we're going to watch it with you. That's right. Nathan and I just got back, well, 18 months ago. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> from a ride where we tried to cross the country in 50 hours as part of the Iron Butt Association's 50cc Challenge. Yeah, but we did it in 47, just saying. Takes pride in his work. I like that. Now, here's the thing. Uh, as you can imagine, on a ride like that, we were in a bit of a rush when it came to filming. So we thought it'd be helpful to watch along with you and provide a little bit of context. I thought a lot about the kind of bike that I want to take on a trip like this. Uh, obviously, I needed something reliable, something smooth, and something that had some touring features. You know, factory luggage, heated grips, cruise control, that kind of thing. But what I wanted was something that could also cover distance at ludicrous speeds when I wanted to. And that's why I'm taking that. So the plan is simple. Nathan's flown out from Los Angeles to join me on this trip, and we're gonna just try to get an early start in the morning. Uh, really, we're just getting on the 10 freeway, and then it's westward ho. We have about 2,500 miles to cover and 50 hours to do it. Let's see if we can make it happen. Yeah, okay. So, so it says 418, yep. but I just flew in from LA the, like literally oh, that's true. Like, a few hours before this. It was like 1 a.m. when we start this thing for me. For you, yeah, yeah I was well rested. Like, well, you'd take a nice little cruise around the country getting there. Yeah. So yeah, it was fucking early. Can we say fucking? Language. Yeah, we have guys to show up uh, once or twice a year, you know? Okay. Yeah, idiots abound everywhere. <laughs> All right, guys, yeah. be careful. Hey. Gentlemen, thank you. Safe. Appreciate it. Take good care. This means the clock is officially on, right? All right, we've got our signatures from the local police department here with an official start time of 6 a.m. Uh, but the thing is, the spirit of the ride is that you're going from coast to coast. So we actually had to go the wrong way a little bit. Uh, I don't know if you can even see the water back there. Uh, but just, you know, for a little keepsake, I'm going to grab some sand from the Atlantic Ocean, from the Jacksonville side, and uh, see if we can't do the same back home in, in L.A. Let's get moving. Ocean. I have a little memento. Oh. Quick, quick pause. Damn it. Damn it. I forgot mine. Sand from Dude, Jacksonville, you're gonna, you're gonna, This is gonna be like, you're gonna keep rubbing shit in throughout this entire Sand day. from Santa Monica, Cal oh yeah. And this is something I'm gonna make fun of Nathan for later. We'll talk about that in a bit. Oh God, the beat. Oh, hold on. <laughs> I felt a pain in my neck. Called you on the Senna. I was like, hey, I, I need to pull over. <laughs> and he takes a look at it and there's a, a bee in my neck. Oh yeah, you got a, a bee lodged in your neck. So it was inches from your jugular. You could it could have been lethal. Ooh, added drama. Well, well, okay, genuine tip, right? If you don't know how to get a bee stinger out, you might think, squeeze, like try to pull it out or tweezer it out, whatever. Don't do that that just squeezes the venom inside of you. I'm not allergic, so it's not a big deal. Nathan, as a wise man, I guess still had his hotel card <laughs> from yesterday. Uh, yeah. And yeah, and so just kind of scraped it off. And that is the proper way to, uh, to take care of a stinger. Yeah. I did get the stinger out. Oh, damn. Well, thank you for saving my life real quick. Just because why not? Where shall I put it?
I'd like to call out catching the Superdome with the... Oh, yeah, you need to talk about this. Yeah. Yes. Because we're like, we know the Superdome is coming up, and it's like, okay, look, we've now gone off our path, but we're going to catch the Superdome. And uh, so it's GoPro action trying to ride a motorcycle, but we caught it. And that's what I'm saying. Not the stupidest idea he had filming-wise that day, by the way. But we'll get, we'll get to that. <laughs> yeah. We'll get to that. Stupid has a slightly negative oh, okay. connotation. Sorry, I think un most un creative. Unprofessional. unprofessional. Most creative. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Okay. Oh yes. Here's you want to talk about your creative mount now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Explain. explain so to the so trying to figure out how to actually film something while you have to keep moving is kind of the one of the bigger challenges with something like this. So I decided to go with the ankle mount, which is it's not a thing. Yeah, is maybe not a thing, <laughs> but we made it a thing, and so I was like, uh, I uh, like. Velcroed the GoPro to my ankle, and I would like and then, stick and then my duct leg. Taped it. Oh yeah, duct taped it for safety. Off. Yes, yes. You said stupid earlier. I'm, it's, <laughs> I, this was we had proper proper safety here. There you go. Using the my my foot to get the angle on uh, on the bike as you were rolling through that uh, that first sunset, which I think it looks worked. Amazing. It worked. Oh, look, I, I'm I'm gonna I tease you about it, but it it worked. ankle cam. It was not ocean. Don't approved. knock it until you try. It. So we got into town, I can't remember what town this is. It starts with an S. Uh, oh, Sonora, Texas. We got into town around 2.30 a.m. I think I went to bed at 3.10. And um, yeah, so now it's not that time. Now it's 8.38. Our plan is to get out on the road at nine. Thankfully, both our bikes are still here. It's a really beautiful day. Obvious mine. Obvious mine. Yeah, we got all our gas stops. And you actually have, you're supposed to write down if there's like anything that delays you. Like for example, when we film in the morning, we gotta note that. Uh, and then our hotel is in here. Uh, a little note about the fact that we didn't, our first reservation didn't work, so we had to run around town a little bit. But uh, the burden of proof is on us. We gotta, we gotta prove that we did it. And uh, that's what these sexy receipts are for. Nathan's 11th stop. According to my log, we've done just shy of 1,300. So yeah, a little over 1,100 miles to go. Uh, we need to get back at we need to get back at 5 a.m. local time in Los Angeles. So we're just shy of 22 hours of, of time to, to get there. That sucks when you say it like that. Yeah. <laughs> So this is one of those other things, right? Where it's hard to kind of convey what's going on, but we Texas were- Texas is big. <laughs> that's what he's trying to convey right now. Yeah, Texas a is a long, big ass state. Yes. It takes a while to get through. And we are finally done with Texas. Hello, New Mexico. One of my favorite parts of this whole story that I talk about in the written one, but we never get into this video, yeah. 
is how long did you go without touching your hand? Like we, we got bored at, at a certain point and we're just kind of goofing around and just putting cruise control on and yeah, it's seeing a Sunday, how far we it's go. a Sunday morning. Yeah. So we're there's no traffic. It's big, long, wide Texas highways. Yeah. And uh, like, I gotta be honest, like the Goldwing is a pretty comfortable bike to ride. It's well balanced. And so I started seeing like how long I could go without touching the handlebars. <laughs> Turns out it's 57 miles. And, it, and, I, and I actually robbed you of that because yeah, we only had to stop because the Cowie needed gas. Yeah. Otherwise you wouldn't it be able would, to keep going. It would have been probably all of Texas. But yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it was, that's my, my personal record is 57 <laughs> miles without touching the handlebars of a motorcycle. Oh, K9 on duty. This guy's got a freaking cowboy hat on. You know he's serious. Yeah. Are you a citizen? Yes, sir. Three bags full, sir. Not even. That feels racist. Last time I got stopped, when I'm with you, <laughs> oh, go ahead. <laughs> You're with this white Dave man, you should, you should be fine. <laughs> it's so Dave Chappelle's kid. Yeah, uh, pro tip, if you need a camera bike, Honda Goldwing, <laughs> DCT, yeah. that works rather well. Nathan, Because Nathan's left hand was generally free yeah. it was it was amazing what he was able to do in terms of strapping cameras to his ankle or uh using this they've got this little mini storage cubby where you think the tank would be yeah uh so he could have gopros in there he could Stash have all kinds of yeah it was yeah. just uh it's a it's actually a really impressive camera yeah. gopro platform i mean that's gopro gold wing, yeah. <laughs> gold wing works let's put it that way yeah I got you a gift. Oh, lovely. A little, little retread. Yeah. Better than a reach around, I guess. Well, it's been a long week. <laughs> there we go. The neighboring state. All of a sudden it feels much closer. My ass already hurts. I've been on the bike for two minutes. This is not a good sign. Uh, that's, uh, yeah, usually it's uh, after a break, ready to go. Uh, so we got, what, six more hours of this? Yeah, something uh, about that. But you can't think about it in hours. Think about it in reps. <laughs> okay. We have four more reps. Um, Drive, gas, repeat. Ah uh, yeah, so that's uh, after spending time here, I, just, I decided that everybody hates their lives so much that Arizona drivers would rather hit you and die than like let you in, or <laughs> heaven forbid, get out of the way. It's just fuck it, we're all going down together. <laughs> I should be recording. I just put the camera away. I even knew the can the tunnel was coming <laughs> up. I said I really like this tunnel. Yeah. It's cool. Let me put the camera away before we go into it. Oh well, fuck it. That's the kind of uh, foresight we can look forward to in the next five or six hours. Two hundred twenty-nine miles, two hundred forty miles to go. Three hours, thirty-three minutes, and we have over six hours to get there. Hashtag blessed. Yeah, seriously, right? See, this sign feels good though. I've always thought it was such a boring sign. Like it yeah, has never it's feeling too boring right now. Yeah, exactly. All right, I have to admit that the last 30 minutes or so were, were pretty tough. I, I was just tired. I don't even really remember them that well. Uh, hey, you sound super fucking tired, dude. Yeah. I'm, I'm on my second window. I feel a lot better.
legit, when you called me at that point, I was like, oh my God, we're in trouble. Yeah. Because you were like, I could, you could just hear it in your voice. Oh yeah, How, yeah, that was kind of like, like, when you were talking to me, it was sort of just a, like a, a wake up call. Yeah. A uh, bit, and thankfully I got my second win, and obviously we were, I'm, I'm here. <laughs> we ended up being fine, but it yeah. was kind of like a, is this the smartest thing we should be, we could be doing right now? Four dollar gas means we're back home in California. What's going on, buddy? This pump is the bane of my existence. And, and why is that? Everything about it is annoying. Oh no, that receipt that you desperately need to prove that you did the and ride is stuck. Every time you touch it, it just goes further back up. You know, if you can't get this, you get no credit, right? That's just, just 48 hours of riding down the drain for nothing. Well, I guess you can just go home. I'll, 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 I'll finish the ride. Oh, I like it. All right. Getting clever with your tape. Oh, oh, oh motherfucker! <laughs> uh. <laughs> and now you've broken the machine for whoever needs to use it next. This is getting more and more complex. <laughs> okay, now we're getting a card. I love how we could just go inside and ask for a duplicate receipt, but it's the principle of the thing now. Two hours later. Oh, oh bravo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well done, well done. Here, I'll, I'll file it. So we've got this buddy of ours named Boggy Town on Instagram, and we know we do something cool whenever he makes an illustration to commemorate it. Uh, it's pretty funny. We, uh, we noticed that there was some beer on the back, and so it inspired us. This is for you. This is our reward. It's some California beer to celebrate the fact that we're back. This is our last gas stop. And if we get back home safe, we're gonna enjoy that on the beach. We're done. Sort of. This one's for him and this one's for me. Yeah. So if you could just fill out your, basically your name, phone number, mailing address, and your signature. So what's the goal end goal here? <laughs> I wish I knew, man. Just to, I guess to say that we did it, I don't know. Really yeah. <sighs> 48 hours and over 2,500 miles later, we are here in Santa Monica. Uh, again, it's tr like the spirit of the ride is coast to coast, so we're out on the water and uh, it's time to get a little bit of the Pacific. There we go. With that, we are officially done. And I am officially tired. I might just take a little nap here for a minute. Starting up the trip on his knees. Only at worst from here. Well, you're super weird. <laughs> just in general. Just in general. <laughs> I want to go to bed for a long time. No, it's, it's just literally, it's been 18 months. Or and I still haven't turned in my paperwork. It's been 17 months, he still has not turned in his paperwork. What? Yeah. Wait. I have my certificate what? proving I did all this shit in here. All right, and that's a wrap.